what happened with um, <coughs> Case Keenum yesterday? Sure. We're, um, the league is looking at that now. We're doing an investigation, talking to the athletic trainer with the RAM staff, the team physicians, the athletic trainer up in the skybox and others. I think it's probably fair to say that it looked like he needed uh, to go through the concussion protocol. Um, uh, and usually that sort of uh, hit or the evidence of, of how he acted after that hit would be enough to trigger that. And we would hope that um, a player who <coughs> needs to be reviewed by the team physician and in the case of our protocol alongside the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant would be seen by them and go through the concussion protocol, which in that case would include an evaluation on the sideline. Um, which is uh, a couple of minute evaluation and if, if either of the unaffiliated doctor or the team physician believe that they need a more comprehensive exam then they take the player to the locker room. For some reason that didn't happen in this case. What, how long is your investigation on that expected to take? I think we'll probably get to the bottom of that by you know today or tomorrow after we've had an opportunity to talk to all the different medical people involved. And um, what are the repercussions? Let's say the person uh, upstairs just didn't feel like they, with one minute left in the game that they wanted to stop, which you can imagine uh, somebody being intimidated by that idea of stopping a game that was going the way that game was going. What, what, what's the, what's well, the penalty? The, well, the bottom line here with the, with the medical timeout is that you are to put uh, the health and safety of the players ahead of the com com competitive concerns. So regardless of whether there was a minute left or whether there was a minute left in the first quarter, the dynamic should be the same. And if we need... If, and, if that and the, the spotter is neutral. It's not played right. by he, the home team. Yeah, he's not involved. He has no affiliation yeah. with yeah. that team. He's he's all of the athletic trainers, mm -hmm. uh, certified athletic trainers, men and women, uh, although primarily men, go through the same sort of background check that referees go through yeah. in terms of their affiliations, their work backgrounds, and those sorts of things to make sure that that those conflicts don't exist. But if we find out that 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 certified athletic trainer <coughs> either missed the play or or was somehow uh, under expecting some <coughs> sort of a uh, different standard when he was evaluating the player because of the time or for whatever reason, then we'll have to evaluate that at the time. It's like I said, the first year of this program. Well, so, that's what I was going to so, say. Yeah. So these are new. This, this is the first year we've done it. Even the other procedures are relatively new. Yes. So yeah. we're kind of learning as we go.